25 years between 1863 and 1889 were crucial in the development of the Master Builders Association. Before this time, expert tradesmen worked individually without any mechanism to resolve disputes. But all that began to change in 1863. The MBA uh, was formed originally due to the problems that uh, builders had with architects. And the architects virtually became the lord of the manor and the contract between a builder and his owner was mostly intervened by an architect who then would ignore what the builder had to say and just demand that uh, he do certain things in accordance with what the architect interpreted from their contract. Attempts were made to start an association for builders to protect their rights. A major player in this push was an English migrant called John Young. A lot of master builders were masons, but uh, John Young was the highest ranking mason ever to have come to Australia. Uh, he was uh, at the 32nd level of masonry. John Young virtually developed Annandale, but he was living at a, a place called Kentville where he also built a bowling green and that uh, led to uh, bowls becoming a popular game in Australia. He was the first uh, president of the bowls club in Sydney. He was recalled the father of bowls in Australia and there is a bus of him in the uh, Sydney bowling club. He may have been king of the greens, but the industry's attempt at creating a builder's association weren't bowling anyone over. In May 1863, four builders published an advertisement to garner support. It failed. A second attempt was made six years later, but again was unsuccessful. However, on the 21st of October 1873, 25 Sydney master builders came together to reinvigorate the idea of establishing an organisation to help protect builders. The first major issue to be discussed and resolved was the inclusion of an arbitration clause into contracts at the time. So they tried to get that started in 1863 and 1869, but uh, John Young pushed it in 1873. There was a lot of arguments with the uh, uh, architects over this particular arbitration clause. It was resolved in a peculiar way, mainly because the first secretary had written a blistering note to the architects without telling his uh, members that he'd done so. And the architects were very upset about it. And the builders were upset about it too. And they joined with the architects and said, we agree with you. And the first secretary was forced to resign. And that acted as some sort of a, an ability for, the, for mediation to occur between the two parties. And they finally got the contracts uh, adjusted with a uh, arbitration clause. When the uh, Master Builders Association was formed, it was called the Builders and Contractors Association of New South Wales. And it only took in builders and it wasn't until a couple of years later that they started to accept the suppliers of uh, goods and services into the Master Builders or the Builders and Contractors Association. At the Temperance Hall in Pitt Street, Sydney, the 25 Sydney Master Builders met and John Young became the founding president of the new association. Subsequent meetings were held on the corner of King and George Streets in a building John Young had constructed. Two ingenious measures introduced by this fledgling Sydney organisation helped promote their members to people of importance. Annual dinners and annual picnics. The first dinner was attended by over 100 gentlemen, including members of parliament. A huge coup for the new Builders and Contractors Association and their success quickly grew. The Newcastle branch was formed in 1874, the year after the MBA was. They formed an organisation which was called the Newcastle Master Builders Association. It was called the number one branch. They've had their number one sign still in one of their rooms prior to the whole building being burned down. 
14 years later in 1888, the organisation had a milestone victory when it helped resolve a major carpenter strike. The success led to the establishment of a board of conciliation to deal with disputes for their members. And the MBA was well and truly founded.